Opening credits. Mysterious Island, the final chapter, Heroes and Villains, Volume Three, written by H. Madison, narrated by Marianne Carlson. Introducing the heroes. Dangerless, dangerless is the head of Hero World. Dangerless will keep people from getting themselves into danger. Freezer. Freezer is Dangerless's partner. Freezer will also help people from getting themselves into danger. One strategy she uses is she will freeze somebody and will ask them, "Would God want you to do this?" Jealousness. Jealousness, the next superhero, helps people get over their jealousy. Jealousness is also Freezer's favorite. Pinky. Pinky, another superhero. When she touches anything, it will turn pink, and they will be happy. Smiley face, fearless, fearless. Another superhero will help people get over their fears. Water girl, water girl can turn anything she wants into water, even people. The only people she can turn into water, though, are bad guys. She can also make floods to destroy anything that is bad. Safety, safety will help kids stay safe so they don't hurt themselves or so they don't get themselves in trouble. Snowy, Snowy, another superhero, will turn everything into snow, whether she is happy or mad. Toothbrush, toothbrush will save kids from rotting their teeth. Glitter girl, glitter girl uses her superhero powers for good and bad things. She can use it to make people happy, which is good. But also, she can use it to shoot glitter in someone's eyes or something. Kitty cat, kitty cat mainly saves people's cats, but she helps people too. Sunshine, sunshine is the nicest superhero ever. She will give you flowers, and she can make the sun shine on a rainy day. Icy. Icy, the next superhero, will turn everything into ice when she walks. When she is mad, she can shoot ice out of her hand. Introducing the villains. X Finny, X Finny, who is a Captain Villain, lives in Villain World and has been trying to destroy the heroes in Hero World for about fifty years now. Lava men, lava men can shoot lava anywhere out of their body, and they live in Villain World. Z Fly, Z Fly is X Finny's wife. She used to be a superhero, but X Finny tricked her into marrying him, and then she became a villain. Doctor Scuttle, Doctor Scuttle is an evil scientist who works for X Finny. He makes evil potions. He also made the soda that lets X Finny control everyone on Earth who drank this soda. Doctor Scuttle has a very important job, and he is very good at it. Previously, at the end of the most dangerous mission, you were under Jealousness' power when he asked you. There was nothing we could do. Dangerless told Freezer, "Just hit the button." Z Fly and Jealousness both shout. Then suddenly, Freezer's eyes started to lighten up. X Finny's finger was practically on the button when, "No, stop!" Freezer shouts. Now what? X Finny asks. I am a hero. That's the job God gave me. Freezer shouts. Then she does this ninja kick and hits X Finny, Jealousness, and Freezer in the face. Then all the heroes start cheering. Then Freezer runs into the control system and turns all their powers on and demolishes the control system. Then Freezer runs to where the heroes are and she freezes the water. Then she hits the button and all of the heroes are safe. Oh, thank you! Icy shouts with joy. Now let's go save everybody on Earth. Water Girl shouts. Then they all saved everybody. And they went back home to Hero World to celebrate. The end.
story begins. The final chapter. Once upon a time in Hero World, there had been a lot of changes since all the heroes had saved Freezer from becoming a villain. Freezer and Dangerless got married, and now work at the headquarters of Hero World. They now plan out missions in the headquarters. Since Dangerless and Freezer are not the head of all the missions, Hero would have to pick new people, and they chose Water Girl and Glitter Girl. Also, a change that was made is that the heroes had some power changes. Water Girl now can not only start flooding or shoot water; she can run speedy fast and can jump really high. Water Girl can also make an earthquake with her foot. All she has to do is stomp really hard. Glitter Girl can now shoot lasers from her eyes, and she can freeze time. Also, Glitter Girl unlocked the superpower of being able to fly. One day, both the girls were getting ready for a mission when all of a sudden a bag swallows both Water Girl and Glitter Girl. They had no idea what was going on or who had caught them. They both tried all they could do to get out. But nothing was working. Glitter Girl and Water Girl both realized they were thrown into a vehicle, and they were being flown somewhere, but they had no idea where. When they finally landed, they were thrown on the ground. When the bag came off of them, they saw Jealousness and Z fly. As soon as both girls saw them, Glitter Girl tried shooting lasers to stop them, but it was too late. They were already gone. After about ten minutes of walking, the girls realized they were stranded on an island on Earth. How are we going to get out of here? Glitter Girl cried in fear, but Water Girl had nothing to say, not even words of encouragement, because she had no idea how they were going to get off the island. Later, Glitter Girl and Water Girl went looking for food, but they were stopped by a jaguar that tried attacking them. On three, Glitter Girl told Water Girl, and Water Girl knew exactly what she wanted her to do. One, Glitter Girl whispered quietly, trying not to disturb the wild animal. Two, she said a little bit louder. Three, Glitter Girl finally shouted. When she shouted three, Water Girl stomped her foot on the ground, sending the jaguar a couple of feet in the air. The jaguar landed on its back and whimpered a little bit. Glitter Girl and Water Girl high-fived and cheered, thinking they defeated the jaguar. Then the jaguar got mad and began to growl, and soon started chasing after both Water Girl and Glitter Girl. Run! Water Girl shouted. As they were running, Water Girl realized Glitter Girl did not have the superpower to run speedy fast, and the jaguar was gaining up on her. She knew she needed help. Tree, Water Girl shouted back to Glitter Girl, and right when Glitter Girl heard her say that, she turned to the nearest tree and shot lasers at it. Then the tree fell right in front of the jaguar, which stunned the animal. Then both of the girls jumped and grabbed onto a vine and swung through the jungle, losing the jaguar. After swinging for a while. They reached the end of the jungle and landed on a calm, quiet beach. Well, if we're going to be stuck on this island for a while, we're going to need some shelter to live in until we get out of here. Glitter Girl explained, "How about I find some materials to build shelter, and you go find some food for us to eat?" Water Girl instructed. So they both left on their mission. When all of the sudden. Water Girl heard a loud screech from inside the jungle. She ran to see what was going on, and she saw Glitter Girl shooting lasers at a monkey. Glitter Girl, stop! Don't hurt the innocent monkey! Water Girl screamed at her to stop. No, Water Girl, you don't understand. This isn't a normal monkey. Glitter Girl replied, pointing to the monkey. When Water Girl turned to look at the monkey. It had beaming red eyes and extremely sharp teeth. This is no normal jungle we're in. We're on the mysterious island. Water Girl explained in fear. 
This island is a myth told by people in Hero World and on Earth that any hero or human that tried to uncover the mystery of this island never returned from the island. Even if people just happened to land on the island, they still never ever returned. They both stood there in silence. So, this is an evil island created by man, or evil. This was not land created from God. Glitter Girl asked Water Girl. Yes, that is correct, Water Girl responded. But before Glitter Girl could respond back, the evil monkey began to attack them again. Then Glitter Girl froze time, and Water Girl jumped up super high and landed her foot right on the evil monkey. When Glitter Girl unfroze time, the monkey began to glitch as if it were a robot, or it was controlled by a computer. We have to unlock the mysteries of this island, Water Girl demanded. But who knows what could happen to us? We just have to get out of here. I don't want to risk anything, Glitter Girl said in a worried tone. It's okay, Glitter Girl. God will always be by our side. This is what we have to do. Water Girl said, trying to persuade and calm her down. Okay, but we don't know anything about this island. So how do we know where to start, or what to do, or where to go? Glitter Girl started to say in a panicked tone. Glitter Girl, calm down. It's okay. I know some information about the island. Water Girl responded to her, hoping she would calm down. You do? Glitter Girl responded with a little less of a panic tone. Yes, I do. So now we first need to go to Golden Cave. It's right in the middle of the jungle. Golden Cave? Glitter Girl questioned, because she had no idea what Water Girl was talking about. Yes, it's a cave that has ice-like things hanging from the ceiling, but they are made out of gold. Wow, that sounds really cool. Glitter Girl responded. Actually, it's really not cool, because the gold is poisonous. Water Girl responded as they began walking through the jungle. They walked and walked for a long time, fighting weird and odd animals on their way to the cave. And about a day of walking, they reached a problem. Uh-oh, Water Girl began to say. We're at Gator Creek. She said, What's Gator Creek? Glitter Girl asked, beginning to get worried again. It's a huge creek full of gators. And not just any gators. They are half shark, too. Whoa! Glitter Girl said, shocked. How are we supposed to get across it? Glitter Girl asked. I have no idea how we are going to get across it, Water Girl said. Is there any way around it? Glitter Girl asked. No, there is no way around it. We have to go across it to get to the cave. Water Girl explained to Glitter Girl. So, after a while of thinking, the girls had a plan. Glitter Girl froze time, and Water Girl jumped over the creek. Then she stomped her foot, sending a tree right across the river for Glitter Girl to walk across. When Glitter Girl got to the other side... She unfroze time, and they kept walking through the jungle. Finally, they reached the golden cave and entered. Okay, Water Girl began to say. A myth was told to me that there was a map hidden somewhere in this cave, Water Girl told Glitter Girl. So they, Water Girl and Glitter Girl, began walking through the cave. Neither of the girls ran into any problems. After walking for a while through the cave, they finally found the map. When they picked up the map, it was peaceful. Then they began to walk out of the cave, when the ceiling began caving in, and things began to fall. Run! Glitter Girl shouted. This time, Water Girl had Glitter Girl jump on her back, and she ran her out of the cave. Surprised Glitter Girl and Water Girl stood there shocked. 
We need to get back to the beach and build a shelter to stay in for the night, Water Girl told Glitter Girl in an urgent tone. I can fly us over there, Glitter Girl explained. Great idea, Glitter Girl. Water Girl began to say, Maybe this time we won't run into as much trouble up in the sky, Water Girl joked. So Glitter Girl allowed Water Girl onto her back and she lifted them above the trees and began to fly. It was a pretty peaceful ride until they ran into this odd flock of birds. Then the bird shot lasers at the girls. Ah! Glitter Girl screams, throwing her hands in front of the birds. And not knowing what she was doing, a protective bubble formed around the girls. It's like Glitter Girl unlocked a hidden superpower she didn't know about. Huh? Glitter Girl says, shocked, watching the lasers bounce off the light purple color shield. What did you do, Glitter Girl? Water Girl exclaims. I, I don't know. Glitter Girl responds with a confused tone. Well, whatever you did saved us from being killed by a bunch of evil birds. Water Girl says, still shocked. The girls keep soaring through the sky when they finally reach the beach. They landed safely on the sandy beach. All right, let's go find some materials. But let's go together, Glitter Girl explains. Good idea, Glitter Girl, Water Girl replied. When they went out, they got enough wood to build a town. They also grabbed some food while they were out like bananas and coconuts, and some fish. When they safely returned to the beach, they began to build. Water Girl used her super speed to build the home. While Water Girl was quickly building the home, Glitter Girl fried some fish and made some meals that would last them a while. All done, Water Girl said, brushing dirt off her hands. When Glitter Girl walked through the beautiful wood door, She was amazed to see what she found. She walked right into the living room, which had wood floors and wood ceilings. The walls were made out of wood, but Water Girl made some paint to give the house some color. Glitter Girl also found furniture, too. The furniture was wood-built, too. But somehow, Water Girl forced the sand to stick to the furniture, making it more comfortable. There was a kitchen and windows, and two bedrooms for both the girls. Wow, Glitter Girl responded. You are welcome, Water Girl responded. I made some food that we can eat, Glitter Girl says, running after the food that she left outside. When she came back in with the food, they sat in the kitchen and ate. I think we should hit the sack, Water Girl says, finishing up her food. Good idea. Glitter Girl responds yawning. As they go to their bedrooms, they can see the sunset set. The sunset kisses them goodnight with its warmth, and they fall asleep. The next morning, Glitter Girl and Water Girl wake up to the sun bursting through their windows, telling them to wake up. Glitter Girl makes breakfast. Then they get ready for another adventure. They sit down on the sand couch, look, and discuss the map. Okay, Water Girl says, holding the crumpled map in her hand. It looks like here we have to go through Forever Forest. Also, Rumble River. Then we have to make it through Xylus Volcano. Then we will reach the center of the island. Water Girl says like it's no big deal. Can't I just use my ability to fly and get us there faster and safer? Glitter Girl questions. That's a good idea, Glitter Girl, explained Water Girl. Okay, get on my back, Glitter Girl responds. When Water Girl jumps onto her back, Glitter Girl tries to fly, but something is holding her back. So she tries over and over and over again. But no matter what she does, or no matter how hard she tries, she just can't fly. Someone turned off my ability to fly, Water Girl, Glitter Girl exclaims in fear. It's okay, Glitter Girl. We can just walk through. And if anything gets in our way, we can stop them with our powers. Water Girl replies, hoping that it will calm her down. So they begin their journey by walking, 
for a while, they do not run into any trouble until they get to Forever Forest. When they reach Forever Forest, there is a bunch of animals just hanging around. When the animals notice the girls, they start to growl and hiss and make all of these weird sounds. Uh oh, Glitter Girl says, gasping. At first, there were only like 20 animals. Then 100 more came flooding in from the trees and bushes. Okay, fighting 20 animals made me double think fighting 100 animals. Makes me want to pass out, Glitter Girl says as color flushes from her face. We can handle it, Water Girl says. I think I have a plan. Then she whispers the plan into her ear. Her plan was that Glitter Girl would freeze time and they would take out as many animals as they can. But since her freezing ability only lasts for one minute, they had to think of other ideas. They decided that after their time ran out, that Glitter Girl would shoot her lasers at them at 99 MPH. Then their last solution was, until they come up with another idea, is Glitter Girl will put her protective bubble over them. When Glitter Girl froze time... They took out 50 animals. When time went back to normal, they took out as many animals as they could, which was 25. Then she put her protective bubble over them. Now what? Glitter Girl questioned. There are still a lot more creatures left. Um, Glitter Girl? Water Girl responded, pointing to all the bushes and trees. When Glitter Girl looked, she saw even more animals coming out of the bushes and trees. Well... Now what? Glitter Girl sighed. How about we try and walk through the forest with your bubble around us? Then they can't hurt us. Water Girl replied. Great idea. Glitter Girl responded as they began walking. As they were walking, different and odd creatures bounced off their bubble. Then, as they almost reached the end of the forest, Glitter Girl's bubble began to glitch like it was going away. When the bubble finally popped, they quickly spun around and saw the creatures coming after them. No! Water Girl screamed, stomping her foot really hard. Some of the animals went flying so far, they thought they landed in the ocean. But some animals could resist her quake. Then she formed a gigantic wave in front of her toward the animals. After that, Glitter Girl jumped on her back and she zoomed them out of the forest. Once they realized they lost the creatures, they began to walk again. After a while of walking, they reached Rumble River. Wow, Glitter Girl said, amazed looking at the beautiful waterfall and stream in front of her. It sure is beautiful, isn't it? Water Girl replied, watching the shimmery water flow. Then Glitter Girl bent down and was leaning over the stream to look at the crystal clear water. Glitter Girl, Water Girl said with an urgent tone. Then she ran over there and yanked her away from the stream. Hey, what was that for? Glitter Girl groaned. You never know when it's going to rumble. And when it does, it can suck you down the river and drown you, okay? So help me think of ways we can get over it. Water Girl responded with a strict tone. We can try my flying again, Glitter Girl recommended. All right, Water Girl responded, jumping on her back. On three, Glitter Girl said a little nervous. One, Water Girl began. Two, Glitter Girl said next. Three, they said at the same time. It didn't work again, Glitter Girl whined. It's okay, we can try something else. Water Girl responded. Then they spent the next few minutes thinking of different ways to get across the river. Wait, I've got it, Water Girl said, jumping up and down. I will use my ability to hold all of this water up really high, and you can jump us across the stream, Water Girl told her with excitement. Okay, we can try it, Glitter Girl responded, and that is exactly what they did. Glitter Girl pushed the water very high up in the sky, and Glitter Girl bounced them over the river. When they were safely across the river, Water Girl very nicely put the stream down. 
When the water was back down on the ground, it began to rumble and shake. Oh no, Water Girl cried, picking up Glitter Girl on her back. Then she super speeded about a mile, knowing they would be safe from the river. When she stopped running, they were in the desert. What kind of island has a jungle, forest, volcano, beach, desert, and a river? Glitter Girl said with an aggravated tone. A big mysterious island. Water Girl chuckled a little bit. Let me see that map, Glitter Girl demanded. When she looked at the map, she saw a huge blank area between Rumble River and Xyla's volcano. This must be where we are at. Glitter Girl said, pointing to the barren area on the map. It doesn't have this area labeled. Water Girl says, confused. So they began walking, and Water Girl every now and then fills their hands up with water for a drink so they don't get dehydrated. Then to make their trip a lot quicker, they rode on a wave that Water Girl created through the desert which didn't take them long. When they got out of the desert... They ran into their first problem at Xyla's volcano. The volcano had erupted and was already coming their way at high speed. Oh, great, Glitter Girl said with sarcasm. We have to come up with an idea quick, Water Girl said with an urgent tone. We have to stop it, but how? Glitter Girl said nervously. I'm not sure, Water Girl responded. Well, we have to hurry. It could reach us any minute. Glitter Girl said. For a minute, they stood there and watched the lava creep closer to them, thinking of ideas. I think I have an idea. Glitter Girl began to say, You need to freeze your water to, like, minus 100 degrees, and then make a huge wave, then throw it at the water, and then the lava will turn hard. Glitter Girl said really fast, because they were running out of time. Okay, I can try, Water Girl responded. Hurry, Glitter Girl said as the lava was inches away from them. Then Water Girl froze her water and made a wave as high as the trees. Now, Glitter Girl yelled. Then she threw the water, and it worked. The lava hardened. We did it, they both screamed, jumping up and down with joy. Then the volcano began to shake like it was going to explode again. Run! Glitter Girl yelled. Then they quickly ran around the volcano. Once they got past the volcano, they were walking through a bunch of trees when suddenly... Ah! Water Girl screams as she falls down the hole. Then Glitter Girl jumps down the hole after her. When she landed on concrete ground, she looked around. They were in a huge circular black room with like two lights. This must be the control room, Water Girl said. What's that? Glitter Girl questioned. This controls everything on the island, Water Girl responded. Then all of the sudden, X Finney comes up on the walls. The walls are filled with big television screens. X Finney? Both the girls gasp. I don't understand how you both made it this far, he growled. What are you doing? Glitter Girl screamed. I control this whole island, and I plan to destroy you both, but it looks like that's going to be a lot harder than I thought, he slurred. What do we do? Glitter Girl whispered. It's time for my revenge, he said with an evil laugh. Then fire lasers were shooting at them. We have to shut down the control system, Glitter Girl said, forming her protective bubble around them. I have an idea. Water Girl responded. She then whispered her the plan. Then Glitter Girl made the bubble bigger around the large control system. Then Water Girl shot water at the control system, making everything stop. We did it. We destroyed it, Water Girl said. Self-destruct in ten, nine. Run, Water Girl screamed. Then they ran over to the hole they fell down and Water Girl jumped out of the control room. When they got out, they decided to try Glitter Girl flying again, and it worked. She flew them all the way back to the island. When they got to the island, Freezer and Jealousness were there waiting for them. Then they got into the vehicle and went home 
and lived happily ever after. The End Other Books by H. Madison X. Finney Strikes Again Ends the Most Dangerous Mission Saving Freezer Available Everywhere Books Are Sold Closing Credits This has been Mysterious Island, the final chapter, Heroes and Villains, Volume 3, written by H. Madison, narrated by Marianne Carlson, copyright 2015 by H. Madison, production copyright 2015 by Revival Waves of Glory Books and Publishing.